Hello YouTubers, this is Adam Guy here from A Guy Studios and welcome to my NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti 2GB overclocking uh, tutorial. Christ, that was a mouthful. <laughs> right, uh, in this video basically I'm going to be showing you how to overclock uh, the, the GTX 750 Ti using Precision X. Um, I will state for those um, that aren't using the GTX 750 Ti, the graphics, you can still use Precision X to overclock your graphics card, that's fine, but the settings that I show you are for the 750, okay, so if you have, say, like a, a 970 or a 980 or a 760, I think there is as well, then obviously you need to do more research on your graphics card uh, to basically see what settings your graphics card can handle, because obviously they might be a little bit different to what the 750 can do okay so obviously please follow along if you'd like to but on graphics cards that aren't the, the gtx 750 please do research on your own settings as this can damage hardware if you don't do it correctly right enough of the health and safety <laughs> now let's get into the actual tuto the tutorial itself first thing you need to do is come along to google and you need to download software called Precision X and the way to do this is you obviously type it into Google come on the first search bar up here uh, first search bar tab link whatever it is sorry and you can download it from their actual EVGA website um, basically the way you can do that is you can either download it from their mirrors which they have here uh, to do that though, you do need to sign up to their website, uh, which I believe is free, and then you can just download it from the mirrors, or you can actually download it from Steam. So you can either get to it through this way, and download it through here, or you can just go onto Steam and search for it that way, or there's obviously there's loads of uh, more links on the side here, which will allow you to download it, like this one here, which allows you to download it without actually going on Steam or signing up. If you just want a quick download, uh, you can go through that way, but if you are a Steam user, then just download it through Steam because then you know it's a secure download. Most important thing. Uh, right, so once the software is downloaded, what you need to do is open it up. Precision X, yes. Okay, so we we'll give that a moment to open up. I will say now that my memory will be a little bit higher than yours, hence because I'm using Shadow Play to record. As you can see now, uh, my memory is quite high because I'm using Shadow Shadow Play to record this video. So um, my blah bar here, where is it? This blue thing. Yours will probably be about down here, depending if you actually if you're not running anything, then your bar will probably be sitting about down here, give or take. But where I'm actually recording, my bar's a bit further up because it's using some of the power to record. Right. Um, okay, let me get rid of that, sorry. Right. Let's start fresh. So I've put mine to default. Okay, right. The first thing you need to do when you come onto this is basically make sure that it's picking up the right graphics card, which it should, but just to double check, that's mine there, the GTX 750 Ti. It's quite a beast, actually. It's quite, a, for, for what it is, it's a very, very good graphics card. Um, it is very, very good. Um, so yes, you wanna make sure you've got your, your right graphics card selected. And then the first thing that I like to do is make sure that this is selected. So your fans are on auto, basically, because what that allows you to do, or what this software, sorry, allows to do is control your fan speed. So if your graphics card, or your GPU temperature, sorry, because it's saying graphics card, I should say GPU. If your GPU, GPU starts getting warm, or hot basically then it can adjust the fan speeds to alter the temperature for you instead of putting it on a set temp you should always leave stuff like that on auto i don't know why you'd want it manual to be fair um right so make sure that is on auto make sure you have the right graphics card selected um another thing right sorry another thing uh, the next thing we want to do is make sure our target power is obviously set to 100 percent because uh, obviously what that allows is basically make sure that it's using the graphics cards full potential then you want to make sure that your target temp is set to about 80 i believe the 750 can go up to temps of 96 i don't really want to try that that seems a bit warm 
for my liking. I don't, I have, you know, I have standard fans in my case as well. I know the 750 has on board fans, but it's, if you've got, you know, a good system with good cooling, then you can probably turn the temperature up a bit more, which just allows it to work a bit harder. But I like to leave it on 80. I think 80 is sort of a good level. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is come down to our GPU clock offset. Now with this, uh, what we need to do is, I like to use the right and left arrows to do this because it just makes it a little bit more precise. You see, you can do it in ones instead of jumping up or you can do it really quickly. What I like to do, uh, what I find works fine for me is you want to turn this up to about 114. I think 115 is about the maximum that this graphics card will go to, okay? So I don't want to push it any further because obviously, like I said, I don't want to break it. These are very, graphics cards are expensive. I mean, a 750 Ti, I think you can pick up now for about a hundred pounds. Um, but I don't know, to be fair. I don't really know. Uh, I haven't looked into it. Uh, so first thing you need to do is turn your GPU clock up to 114. Then you want to come over to your voltage, basically, and you want to turn this up to 12. I find 12 is fine. Uh, I have done a bit of research on this uh, to see what the differences are, and I think 12 is about, about average, basically, for what, what we need, basically. Uh, then, once you've turned your, your voltage, you then need to come up to your memory clock, and you want to turn that, whoa, not that high, Hell, up to about 55 I would say is what I have mine set on and I find that works well for me 55 okie dokie so once that's excuse me once that's done we need to have a quick check so our fans are on auto our voltage is at 12 plus 12 uh, our power target is 100 our GPU temp is 80 our GPU clock is 114 and our memory clock is plus 55 or plus 114 that is it basically that is done <laughs> it's that easy all you need to then do is then click apply i won't do that because i have mine set on profiles which i'll explain now basically what profiles are is they allow you to have your gpu set on different um different levels so basically if i reset this back to default so i know it's level one so basically for me uh, profile one would be default which is what it is here and then profile two will be what i've just showed you guys basically uh, so fans on auto 12 volts clock at plus 100 plus 114 and memory clock at plus 55 that is what i've got mine set at and i find that works really well for me um one thing i will say though with this um it's not for the 750 what i found with this overclock is it doesn't necessarily give you more frames, okay? Um, it's more, it gives you more of a consistent frame rate, which I find better. Um, I actually done a benchmark test uh, video, which is on my channel, which I'll put the link in the description for you as well, uh, on Rise of the Tomb Raider. And I found when I started getting to the higher settings that the frame rates didn't really drop much more. They didn't really increase, but they didn't drop, which is a lot better really i think i mean obviously i'd like to be running tomb raider at 60 frames a second on full hd or not full hd but full you know settings ultra settings whatever but i know this graphics car can't do it i have tried it and it just can't do it you know tomb raider is a very graphic but beautiful heavy game um so it does require a beast to run it something like a 980 i think can only run it on 4k at 30 frames you know and that's how heavy that game is um on frames so basically that is how to overclock your gpu it is that easy so you want to set uh, memory clock to 55 gpu clock to 114 volts to plus 12 fans on auto and that is it basically um i will say again i know i'll go on about this but i will say again please be careful when doing this don't overdo it at the end of the day it's not worth overdoing it 
uh, to only have your GPU melt or go wrong so you didn't have to go and get it repaired or buy a new one. It does cost money. So please be careful with that. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful. Please obviously like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the near future. Thank you very much guys and goodbye.